Although Netflix and Amazon took over the living room, live TV seems to be just lurking around the corner every time there's like a live event, you know, the Super Bowl or the recent NFL final. So yeah, you might be one of those hip expats living in the countryside of Europe, or just a dude who wants to watch US live TV. In any way, you've got an array of options, like, you know, you can skin a cat more than one way. The popular ones being Hulu Live, YouTube TV, Sling TV, and Direct TV, and etc. But there's not just one, but two flipping issues. One, you need to live in the United States to actually access these shows. Number two, you'd need an American credit card to even sign up for it. I overcame this restriction and watched the recent NFL without using a US credit card or being in the United States. For this instance though, we'll pick Sling TV as it offers the most bang for your buck. Also, unlike most standard cable or satellite plans, you're not actually bound by a contract to Sling TV. So you can cancel this baby anytime. So yeah, let's see how you can do that now, shall we? As you might have guessed, you'll need a VPN to even access the Sling website. For this instance, I'll recommend getting a Smart DNS proxy, the reason being it offers both a VPN and Smart DNS. Once you've set that up, turn on the VPN and switch to United States. Now that you've got a VPN, if you visit the Sling TV website, you can see there's plenty of plans. Sling TV is available in two different flavors, Sling Orange and Sling Blue both of which cost $25 a month on their own. For this instance, I'll go with the Sling Blue. Next, we need to buy a gift card for Sling TV as it only accepts a US credit card. Go to mygiftcardsupply.com. We've tried multiple gift card companies and this is the only one that actually works with a non-US credit card or PayPal. You can get between $25 and $100. For now, I'll just do the $25 plan, which I'll have to pay about $28, including the commissions and stuff, and check out with my PayPal. Enter your name, email, and verify your phone number as well. Once you've done that, you get the code into your email within a minute or two. Now that you've got a VPN and Sling gift card, you're now ready to sign up for Sling TV. Head over to Sling TV's gift redemption page and click new user, redeem here, and then set up your account. You need to add a US billing address for tax reasons. Make sure you type in something realistic like a real hotel or something and then select whichever package or premium access you want and then scroll down to choose next. Next, it'll ask you for your payment information. Don't add a credit card. The seven day free trial may look tempting, but don't fall for it. Instead, scroll down and enter the gift card that you just got in your email and then click finish and submit to set up your account. So yeah, there you go. Now they've got a Sling account, you can sideload Sling app on your Android and use it with the SmartDS proxy VPN, obviously. Unfortunately, the Sling app for iPhone, Apple TV and other platforms are geo restricted. Sorry about that. Another downside for this whole plan though is that you can't keep it going with a monthly billing cycle. You have to keep it going like a salesman by using gift cards every month. Just head over to my account preferences page on the Sling website and select the add gift card link. Enter a new code, click the redeem button and you're back in action. Overall, SmartNest Proxy and Sling TV gift cards are an explosive combo so that you can watch it from any part of the world. But what if you wanna watch US Netflix or even Hulu Lite TV from outside of the USA? Well, you guessed it, we already made videos on it. You can keep watching it. I'm Vamsi from SmartNest Proxy. And thanks for watching, by the way, and subscribe if you're new here and yell at me in the comment section below. Go at it, man.